with KHON2 weather, Kamaka Pili. Heavy showers really drenched the island of Maui today, which means tomorrow, even with the showers expected, the land will already be saturated, so the threat really continues for that flooding. We're going to continue to see heavy showers throughout the day, that along with the chance of thunderstorms, which is really isolated towards the east end of the island chain, will slowly start to encroach upon the west and become more widespread as we progress through the weekend and unfortunately into the new week. So in terms of our threats, our ua is bumped, those thunderstorms along with our winds, especially for the west end of the chain where the winds are expected to bump up to around 30 miles per hour. Uh, 30 miles per hour in terms of sustained winds and gusts, of course, could be surpassing that flash flood warning at least until 7 o'clock for Maui. That in addition to the flood watch which encompasses Maui County and then encompasses Oahu as we start tomorrow and that will take us into the ending of Sunday. In terms of surf, 7 to 10 footers up north, 4 to 6 for the west, 3 to 5 for the east and calmest 1 to 3 down on the south. Now, the source of all this weather is due to a cold front that swept over the islands from west towards east, stalled out, and then now is going to be putting itself into reverse and move back out towards the west, but then is also going to be in doing so, pulling up a lot of uh, moisture from the south, which will keep the east end of the island chain quite wet, and then we're going to start to see the same conditions move its way towards Oahu and Kauai. But the greatest chance of, sh of the showers and even the thunderstorms remain within the boundary itself, and that really again is over Maui right now and that will continue throughout the evening in through tomorrow morning we're looking at eight o'clock where it moves closer towards Molokai so by the time we get through tomorrow by the time we get through tomorrow evening we can really start to see significant changes here on Oahu but despite no matter what island you're on windward sides will be seeing the greatest chance of showers and even that cloud coverage if we progress through Sunday that's when we start to see it move over Kauai so for at least for tomorrow Kauai looks to be in the clear but as mentioned for the windward sides of all the islands, windward showers remain elevated through the weekend and even into the new week, where as we progress through the week, hopefully things start to uh, calm down. But right now, our models are not in agreement when we get into the new week. So we'll have to keep our eye on the shower chances, those winds. Download that K-Twin 2 mobile app if you don't already have. They'll keep you informed. But a quick peek in our forecast. The wet weather will continue into the new week. And those temperatures, we may get a little warm as we start the new week with a lot of that moisture sticking around in the air. Joe, back to you.